Okay, this uh, five minute tutorial we are going to explain how to install uh, the free radius uh, on Linux servers uh, and then we will explain a bit on the configuration as to how we can configure the Cisco gateways to uh, send these logs onto the Cisco uh, onto the radius server okay and uh, how to uh, enable uh, receiving those uh, radius logs by configuring the security on on the Linux uh, server. Uh, to start off with, okay, there are a lot of uh, packages that we need to install on the Radius server so that we can have uh, the, the service uh, implemented. So first of all, we need to execute the command apt get install free radius and free radius utils. Okay, this is uh, obviously we are, what we are talking about over here is basically we are talking about uh, Ubuntu uh, version, but if it is to do with some uh, other versions, okay, it might be different. It might be Yum for uh, Fedora or some other version. Uh, then on that, uh, the next thing what we have uh, is okay. We obviously, uh, most probably, we will be having uh, IP tables already installed, so we might not need to install it. But however, if it is not installed, we need to install it. Uh, ngrep uh, is to do uh, and TCP dump basically are to do with you know your troubleshooting your uh, packet level uh, uh, configuration whether the, you're receiving the packets or not from the radius uh, from from the Cisco gateways or or any radius client. Uh, wget is basically required for downloading these uh, utilities or packages if they are not uh, available on the uh, default uh, get location of uh, Ubuntu. Uh, NTOP is an excellent utility that helps you give, uh, gives you a cl uh, clarity on the network configuration uh, into network traffic basically as to you know what traffic is coming in and what is the top uh, IP clients uh, that have been communicating with this server and what are the top protocols and so on. SAD is a utility that uh, would be useful. Uh, it's basically a stream editor in which, if you want to make some replacement on uh, onto some text files at a bulk level, you can do without editing the file. You just uh, execute an SAD command with uh, certain uh, regular expressions, which enable it to uh, replace the contents uh, of uh, the. Uh, configuration files or whatever text files that you would not want to configure or change. Uh, Sysstat is is a, is also an excellent uh, utility that would give you uh, basic information as to the CPU load uh, on the server. Uh, you also get information on uh, uh, the number of reads, writes, transactions per second onto the uh, hard disk so that you know you get an estimate of you know what kind of load we are receiving at, uh, at any particular point of time. So these are basically the th things that we need. Okay, once uh, the free radius is installed, what we need to do is we need to make sure that it, it is consistent on uh, on every uh, reboot. So we need to put in the command which is called the check config uh, free radius on. And uh, then perhaps after making any changes to any of the configuration files to start or stop or restart a service, you need to execute the service free radius restart and so on. Uh, moving on to configuring the Cisco gateways, okay, uh, assuming in the con con current environment there's already a radius server which has been configured. Uh, at, at the voice gateway. So what we are going to do is uh, there's a special configuration that is required so that you could send both the radius uh, send the radius logs simultaneously to both RAD 1 and RAD 2. So this is basically the configuration that is required for this. Once you have this configuration in place you would be able to see the logs coming at both uh, the radius servers. Uh, obviously, uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure that uh, uh, the client is added. So in, in our previous example, we had the client as 3.0.0.1. So we added with a secret key. Short name is only for description and it is not necessary. But the only key requirement is the secret that needs to be entered and the client IP address. Uh, also, if IP tables have been implemented, okay, you need to execute these commands saying that the port 1812 and port 1813 should be uh, enabled so that you can receive the uh, the radius logs. Once you have done this, then you need to do is you need to save the IP tables, and uh, then we are done. Thank you.